All right, so we're back again. As you can see, I got a couple skates here, but I'm not talking about them yet. I'm actually going to do two videos. The second one will be talking about skates and what I'm doing in regards to that and changes I've made from when I previously played. I just wanted to give a first a quick update on what I think is about my six, seven week uh, point in my return to playing hockey at over 40 years old. And when I say hockey, I'm playing goal. So keep in mind, everything's gonna be more or less in reference to playing goal. Now, all that being said, um, it was pretty funny when I first got started. I decided in a little bit of a whim that I was gonna do it. I went out and purchased a stick because it's one of the things I needed the most. And I told a few people, hey, if you need a goalie, looking to get back on the ice, nothing too serious, not too high level, just want to get moving again. And not even exaggeration, 10 minutes later, one of those guys said, hey, got a game tomorrow night. And yes, I played it. Now, I will tell you, I actually played pretty well in that game through two periods. Third period of that game, the wheels fell off. Um, but still felt good. Felt happy about doing it. Um, it was definitely a challenge. And it kind of got the motion going for me to keep going at it um later that week that following thursday i skated again now this that skate which is the primary skate i've done since i've returned is a three on three on a shorter rank um we are on the ice for about an hour and a half hour 40 and i will say that beat you up um i did play another regular men's league fit three 15 minute period game uh, a few weeks after that but ultimately that kind of was I'd say easy, played very well in that game, very happy how I played in that game. But nevertheless, as a whole, I don't know exactly how many times I've been on the ice since I got back into it. But over the seven weeks, there's only been one week so far where I didn't skate at all, a couple of weeks where I skated twice. And then this week coming up will be another week where I'm actually not going to be on the ice. But that's okay, because I just skated twice this past week, and I'm actually doing a 40 mile bike ride here in New York for the Five Borough Bike Tour uh, tomorrow, actually. So nevertheless, um, just want to kind of give an update on that. And what I've noticed in regards to making this a little bit of a comeback, um, not that I need to know it, but, or didn't know it, being in shape, meaning in the gym, is nowhere near the same as goaltending, hockey, or even athleticism. So <clears throat> that has been an eye-opening wake-up call. Um, that has also given me some motivation to what I'm doing in the gym. But ultimately, I will say, it is also reassuring because I've done a lot of hard work keeping myself in what I would call good physical shape through my late 30s into now 40 years old and it shows. It shows in being able to get on the ice and yes, I do feel beat up the day after, even a couple days after sometimes, but that window of soreness is decreasing. The ability to still do a lot of things, not at a high level, but the ability to do them in the first place is actually still kind of rewarding and to know that what I've been doing away from the ice over the last number of years plays a large part into that. Um, this is also giving me a new challenge, a new thing to try to do in terms of in the gym and the way I do my training, which I will make videos about that in the future. And right now I'm more or less in the research stage of things and seeing what I could do, I want to want, what do I want to try to do, what helps my current gym related goals, in addition to me being on the ice, staying healthy, everything else. Um, that being said, um, what I would also like to emphasize is what I've noticed with getting back on the ice is my mobility is shit. Now, I will say I, there's probably people out there with worse. I've had some back issues over the last number of years, primarily because of things like mobility and underuse in certain areas, my iliacus, psoas, um, you know, that deep core, weak, deep core weakness, my glutes not getting activated. But I've been working real hard over the last year fixing a lot of that stuff, which has actually allowed me to get back on the ice in the first place. But that in itself, um, you know, kind of shaped everything for where it's at in regards to my workouts. Now, again, that being said, when I skated, when I played, when I played a lot, you know, into my teens and through my 20s, even into my early 30s, playing was my mobility work. Now, that is not the right approach. You know, I'm a little bit smarter than I once was. But I was flexible because I was on the ice an hour and a half, two hours, even some days even more, uh, three to six days a week, pretty religiously for a long period of time. And that kept me loose. Um, I was able to do a split. I was able to do a lot of things without having to go and try to do those things, just somewhat naturally. But a lot of that went away um, not long after I stopped skating and my body kind of got stiffened up on me. And then I switched over to more of a bodybuilding strength performance aspect in the gym versus anything to do with conditioning or mobility work. 
So I am paying for that. And I've noticed it with some of the movements that I used to be able to do what I would say fairly well, just not being able to get that same engagement or that same looseness in my hips to be able to do some of that stuff. Um, still pretty strong skater, but not nearly as explosive as I once was. So that's some of the stuff that I'm definitely gonna be working on. So I'm primarily focusing on like more mobility work and some static stretching, some, some di dynamic stretching, um, some definitely hip opening maneuvers almost in every single workout I do. Um, some days it might be a little bit more than others, but I'm definitely make, trying my best to make that impact. So not only do I feel good doing the movements on the ice, but I don't get hurt doing the movements on the ice. And then, like I said, I do want to still kind of improve how far I'll improve, how good I'll get, how what capabilities I have, who knows? Um, because to be perfectly honest, I don't get the opportunity, which I would love to have, to just be like, hey, I'm gonna go to the rink and practice today. Uh, I don't work in the ice rink anymore. I don't have the freedom to go and get ice time whenever I want. So it is normally, here's the men's league, three on three hockey game or rent out. Here's my five to 10 minutes I might have before it and then whatever time I might be able to work out through in it, uh, through it, excuse me. Um, but that's really it in a nutshell. So hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of insight on where I'm at. Um, I will share you know, what I'll be doing in terms of my training. I'll probably record some stuff that I'll do in regards to just mobility work. Um, I am a certified personal trainer, nutrition coach, lifestyle coach. So I do that stuff on the side. So it kind of is something good to kind of utilize and bring back into what I do there as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to kind of putting that out there because I think it'd be beneficial to even the younger guys out there. Um, but whether you're an older guy getting on the ice, staying on the ice, or a younger guy that doesn't want to make the same mistakes I did when I was younger and things just happened easier or more naturally, I definitely uh, ask that you give us a like, a follow, a share, all that type of good stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm going to be recording something about regarding my skates and I got a bunch of other stuff that I like to be doing for you guys. So looking forward to that.